Hi, in this video training, we will be learning about HTML Web Workers API. A web worker is a JavaScript running in the background without affecting the performance of the page. So what is a web worker? When executing scripts in an HTML page, the page becomes unresponsive until the script is finished. A web worker is a JavaScript that runs in the background independently of other scripts without affecting the performance of the page. You can continue to do whatever you want, clicking, selecting things, etc. while the web worker runs in the background. First of all, before working with web worker, you need to check web worker support in your browser. So you can do this by checking the type of worker object is not equal to undefined. So if it is not equal to undefined, it means that web worker is supported in your browser. So let's see this is this is an example. Okay, I'm going to create a project file HTML web worker dot HTML okay and okay i'm going to write script okay and this will be if type of worker is not equal to undefined this means that yippee my browser supports web worker okay else we can say sorry no support web worker okay so save this file and go to console we're going to run this HTML web worker not HTML. Okay, let's see the console. You see, I have the output yippee, my browser supports web worker because my browser does support the web worker. That's why we got this output on the console. Okay, let's create a web worker file and it will be an external javascript file and this script basically counts and the script is stored in the demo underscore workers dot js so let's create a new file and variable i equals zero and then we have function timed count yeah timed count Okay, what we are going to do is we will be going to increment the value of i and adding 1 to it. Then we are going to send this as post message to the browser and we are going to add a delay with the set timeout function and you can say time count and we can set 500 millisecond delay and we call this function timed count okay yeah okay let's save this file as demo underscore workers dot js okay i have saved this file and let's go to the next step the important part of the code above is the post message function which is used to post a message back to the html page normally web workers are not used for such simple scripts but for more cpu intensive tasks okay 
now that we have the web burger file we need to call it from an HTML page the following lines checks if the worker already exists if not it creates a new web worker object and runs the code in demo workers.js so we can say if type of w equals undefined then we can create a, an object w equals new worker demo workers.js then we can send and receive messages from the web worker and an on message event listener to the web worker w on dot on message function event document dot get element by id result in an html event dot data so when the web worker posts a message the code within the event listener is executed the data from the web worker is stored in event dot data so let's see how to terminate a web burger. When a web burger object is created, it will continue to listen for messages even after the external script is finished until it is terminated. To terminate a web worker and free browser computer resources, use the terminate method w.terminate. And if you want to reuse the web burger, you set it to undefined after it has been terminated you can reuse the code so let's look at the full example and build this example in our code so first of all we need to go in the HTML clear this up and I'm going to start with a paragraph tag and set it to count numbers and I'm going to add output okay, ID result and let's close the output tag and then we have the paragraph tag closed then we have the button and we have the on click function start worker okay and start worker okay close the button second button you can say on click stop worker and stop worker so we have two buttons one is to stop the worker and one is to start the worker now well, let's start the script tag okay Here we define a variable w and we start function start worker. Okay, what this function will do, it will first of all check the worker object is supported in our browser or not equals undefined. So this means the browser is supporting the web worker, then we can say if type of w equals undefined we can create a web worker object new worker and we can pass in the javascript file that we created okay so up to this point we have created a web worker object and then we can say uh, okay type of function here okay w dot on message equals function you can say event and document dot get element my id say result dot inner html and we pass in event dot data okay it's closing here okay this function is closing here and we have the if closing here and in the else part we have sorry no web sockets copy this from here 
PS Retriever and we can say sorry no web workers okay then we can have the stop worker function and here we say w dot terminate you can say w equals to undefined so this is our whole script now let's go to the browser and refresh the page you see we have two function one is start worker and the second function is stop worker let's click the start worker button okay we have an error fail to construct worker script at channel cannot be ex accessed from origin null at start worker okay this wasn't working as opening it in directly in the browser so i copied them to my web server folder apache that is a rnd folder and i copied both the files html web worker dot html and javascript underscore web workers sorry that is uh, demo underscore workers dot js file and when i copied it there and it's working fine here as you can see the web worker is working it's counting the numbers when I click stop it is stopped and you can see it is not interfering with any page elements it is only have a contact with the HTML using the w dot on message and this is how it is transmitting the data from the web worker post message to on message and it is dis being displayed on the web page i hope that you have learned about the web workers api and understood its concept if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you next time with a new topic in html